In order to examine the nasal bone, it is necessary to obtain the exact profile view of the face, which is defined by the bright tip of the nose and rectangular shape of the palate in the front, the dark midbrain in the center, and the nuchal membrane in the back. For assessment of the nasal bone, it is necessary to obtain the profile view of the fetal face, and the image should be big, so that the head and upper thorax occupy the whole screen. When these criteria are satisfied, three distinct lines should be seen at the level of the fetal nose. The top line represents the skin. The bottom line, which is thicker and more bright than the overlying skin, represents the nasal bone. A third line in front of the bone and at a higher level than the skin represents the tip of the nose. At 11 to 13 weeks, there is absence of the nasal bone in 1 to 3% of chromosomally normal fetuses and in 60% of fetuses with trisomy 21. However, the vast majority of fetuses with absent nasal bone are normal and have a normal pregnancy outcome.